Hello, everyone. Now. Uh, Ash, I'm talking, man. I just started the video. How are you going to rush me, dude? Uh, this is Trails of Cold Steel 4, part 15. In the previous video, we started our rest period, and by resting, we immediately set out to go fight monsters again because that's just what we do, man. Now, it is a new day. I did a little bit. I mean, I didn't really change any of our ornaments that much. I did give you serious instead of, I think I had it on you, but that's dumb. I don't know why I had it on you. Um, I gave you Thor for now, I don't know. Um, nobody has Zephyr equipped. I feel like I should equip Zephyr on somebody just to give it XP. Even though I do think it's like, I mean, I don't know, Zephyr, I mean, the delay wasn't really the main reason I used it. Part of the reason why I used Zephyr was just that I like that it gives you a free Chrono Drive and Chrono Break. That's just pretty useful with uh, how slot limited some characters can get. Also, I only like really realized after beating CS3, but like you do actually have less slots in this game than you did in previous ones. Like you used to have eight, and the entirety of CS3, I kept thinking like, man, I feel like I should have like an extra slot. Like I don't know why I feel so slot limited in this game compared to the others, and that's because you used to have eight. At least in CS2, you had eight. I don't remember how. I think for some reason when I was rewatching a section from CS2, I noticed that you actually had eight quarts in it. But anything I need to do? I don't know. What are our tactics? Sarah in the front, you right behind. Yeah, this seems fine. I don't remember. I mean, so your thing is that you cast like wind spells and doesn't afraid of anybody, right? That enemy is strong. Please be careful. You don't. You, you don't believe in that shit. All right. But like, what if you... Fine. Watch out. The classic? Please don't instant die. My turn. Gargorlius. What are you, what's your thing? Sleep works. The Elliot has logged online. Faint is pretty good. Nightmare. No sat down kind of sucks and you're weak to fire and mirage. We pretty much have to impede. And we could Blue Orchestra. Oh god, I'm, I'm back on my shit again, dude. I mean, Blue Orchestra would let you live, most likely. You could also Evan Crest. Good Zephyr Wing. But is that targeted? That, that looks like it's free targeting. It doesn't look like it's completely centered on Sarah. So Zephyr Wing would let us just dodge it, right? Because he would still want to cast it. You know what? No, that's... Well, I mean, we get the stealth. The stealth will let us get the BP back. So it's kind of like a refund. Make it quick. Zephyr Wing. Well, not fully because Elliot's probably not going to auto attack. It doesn't seem like he has that much Come HP. Yeah. So my kind of hope there was that, you know, casting the spell would give him a semi-decent delay. Wrong. And what all do you do again? So you can burn. You can suck him. You can buff yourself. The buffs are going to be pretty strong for right now. Since our strength buffs are a little lacking because all we have is Forte. Seal, eh. It's not a sure enough thing, but I kind of also want to get a crit. This doesn't move you though, right? Ha! This one's on the hop. Here's our chance. Keep it up. And I gave us a region squall. My turn. Okay, first things for okay, you can summon Hector. Well, not here because you don't have the mana, but like in theory you could now. I think we want to spread out, even though I would love. Well, okay, we'll take the crit for now and we'll spread out next turn. Now, be this. Here's dessert. 
That's what you I mean, the defense down is careless. super good. It's down. It's mine. Yeah. Now here's the question. Do we try and keep Rock and Zephyr wing? Or... Do we blue orchestra and hope that Fee doesn't die? I think we blue orchestra and hope Fee doesn't die. Harmonize! Blue orchestra! Now! Arcus activate! And then get us back doing our thing. Okay, this could be a problem. Oh my god, he fast? My turn. Sneaking mission. Start. You would you wouldn't kill a guy with an axe, would it's you? Oh god, we're almost dead already. <laughs> He's so damn fast. We can proc an ult. Okay, you can heal like this. You'll get your regen proc. Elliot would never die on me. Let's go. My turn. Death is not a it's not as in his vocabulary. I mean, the delay is unlikely. I don't know why it says the seven delay. I don't understand how delay works. I'm being completely fucking honest. I've never understood. I've just like kind of not engaged with the mechanic because <laughs> I people are like, it's really OP. And I'm like, oh, OK, that means don't use it. Is that like doesn't the delay like it like spec scales off your speed or something? Or maybe it used to. I don't know, man. It's mine. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, this is good, because this. this impedes, no, this impedes, and this moves you, which is good. Are you still, no, you're just like, I thought you were stealth somehow, but it's just because you're like, you kind of look a little obscured. So you move, impede, get out of there. You're mine. That's, my turn. I won't say that's incredible, per se. because he might just like double move and get out of the paint instantly. I could S-Craft with Sarah, but it just seems a little like, we're so close to 200 and your strength's not even buffed. So even though you would get a free crit potentially. Activate. Fear. Yeah. It's my turn. Do you impede? You don't. Um, you can actually cast something ahead of time. That's crazy. Did they say you're weak to fire? I wonder if this would actually do more. This would probably do more damage if your strength isn't buffed. I think you lightning charge. Elliot probably won't die because we'll still have one turn of blue orchestra. Okay, he could just go again instantly. I won't let you. Oh my god, she's based? Yeah. She's actually so completely and totally based. Zephyr wing. Well, we could just crazy hunt. I kinda like I mean we'll probably. Yeah, let's go crazy hunt. Go wild! Crazy hunt! Yeah! That maxes out Fee and uh Sarah. God, that flickering is like kinda getting me. This one's on the hat. Now! Keep it up! Okay, we wanna sure. be better about switching. This is a free unbalance. Now. If not crit. <laughs> That's what you get for being careless. Yeah. It's mine. This isn't good. Can you heal yourself? You can. Blue Orchestra is still only three, so we can heal Blue Orchestra. Uh, my turn. Harmonize, Blue Orchestra. 
And he's almost broken, Granny. He's probably also going to enhance here in a second. Ready? You're done. There. Oh, lord, he's squalling. Are you okay? No. Auto tier, pretty pog. Man, it's so weird that you can like instant cast tears already. I think it's one thing that seems like it seems like spell cast times are significantly lower in this game. Which is a bit of a, like, it's it's an interesting change. That was one thing that really annoyed me at the late game in CS3 was just that once you got, like, once enemies started having so many of those magic canceling attacks, I felt like you could never cast anything. There. You wouldn't, you wouldn't kill her. My yeah. Turn. Like I said, never a doubt in my fucking mind. Arcus Huh. Thanks. It's my turn. Now, do you think you have like a pseudo S craft? Possibly. This one's on the house. I got this. Yeah, let's impede for now. You're mine. Yeah. Good crit. It's mine. My turn. We are a little, a little bit in a rough spot when it comes to uh, blue orchestra and everything. Uh, I'm a little worried you might die. We also really need to get these speed buffs back on these guys. I don't want them to run out on Elliot. Arcus, activate. Okay. Oh. Never a doubt in my mind. Now. You don't really need to breath now. Look at it. Bro, he hates Elliot. He knows who the true MVP is. Sneaking mission. My turn. Start. Mm, you wouldn't hit Elliot three times in a row, would you? Now. Here's the dirt. That's you didn't unbalance my 90% chance. How could math betray me? S sorry, everyone. <laughs> Got it. Wish I don't think I have any Thalosses. Now that I think about it, that was a huge mistake. <laughs> I guess they could have tried to revive me involved, but he's so damn fast. I'm a little, because I feel like if I res you, you're just going to instantly die. Huh? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, that's good. We, you guys absolutely need to like split up. It's like non-negotiable. Oh, uh, we also saw our CP doing that. I really don't want you to heal. Okay, here's what you do. No, that's stupid. I think you lost your strength buff. Yeah, that did nothing. Sure. But at the very least, now Elliot, it's like because I'm, I'm assuming he's probably more likely to hit them because they're grouped up with his AoE attack, so... Now that shouldn't happen as much. I guess just buff yourself. Now. You don't act. Okay, that's an 11 delay. Because I, what I'm thinking is that we can blue orchestra with this crit. But, well, I think it's probably more important to keep Elliot alive. 
Honestly, I'm gonna switch you out for a second. Just because at least now you're not in one shot territory. Blind doesn't really work. What about mute? Kinda works. My turn. There. It's mine. There. Sure. You wouldn't kill an ash with glasses, would you? Um. We can impede. It doesn't really do anything. Honestly, like if you could heal. I kind of think you just take it on the chin. Oh, we should have blue worker should. Oh, that's our problem. Okay, that's actually fine. Don't kill him. Thank you. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. We just want to. We definitely want to pop this. Hundred percent. Don't even think about it. Even though you probably should. Is this a two delay because it's instant? This has to be instant, right? There's no way it's not instant. I refuse to believe it's not instant. Are you out of your damn mind? I guess maybe, maybe the delay doesn't come. Yeah, cause I guess it's delay after you act, right? What's the wording? Yeah, recovery time. So that wouldn't really affect cast time. Just the time. So we should instant go again afterwards. The problem is, is I need my boy healed now. Interesting. Now, here's dessert. That's what you get for being careless. Yeah, it's mine. My okay. turn. Got your C Pizzle and your Blue Orchestra. Harmonize, Blue Orchestra. Very well. Oh, now. It's not gonna do that much damage, but it's more for the region. They're pretty good. Yes, yeah, defense is down. You could rain slash ult. Won't kill, but it'll come very close. It's down. It's oh, maybe if we rushed. Oh, I think if we rushed, we actually would have killed. Behold. Are you broken? Yeah. I'm a little surprised. All right, we can set up a link finish. Come on, it's gotta be Elliot and Sarah. Here's our chance. Oh, that came pretty dangerously close to actually one-shotting. I don't know why she did so much damage. I guess because wow. the defense was you down. Were right on key, instructor. <laughs> and you really rocked it, Elliot. <laughs> okay, that's a minus one point for Sarah. She is now at zero points. <laughs> I don't know. She's a, she's still at one. Okay, we got to give her credit for that cover. Her scold is so good. Art support. Eh. I mean, it's like a really good ability. It's just I don't know how good it is on Ash. Stats updated. Brown hair for Kurt. I don't need brown hair. I need something else. <laughs> I don't know. At this point, we might just like roll normal Kurt. He may maybe he's free from his cat uh, bondage. But like he he wanted it. All right. I wasn't me imposing it on. It wasn't a punishment. If anything, it was a reward. And we gotta look at it. How do I do that? Yeah, costume. Mint hair? Oh god, it's so scary. It's like it was more of an orange than a. I mean, I guess it's like Elliot. I mean, I, I wouldn't really consider Elliot's hair to be brown. I mean, it's like a slightly lighter shade, but that's more of orange than anything. 
don't know, for some reason, the mitts here on Kurt makes him just like an asshole. Like, I don't know, he just seems like he'd be a dick. If I just like saw him out of context. Alright, I mean, did we get our item for this quest? Dropped by monsters. I thought I just had to fight the boss. I mean, I'm pretty sure we fought all the monsters in here at least once. I don't really want to grind for it. Nice. Let's take this chance. Yeah, because you just give beast flesh and you materials. Let's keep going. There's nothing on the mid. I mean, there's only other one enemy on floor two, and it's. Well, is the you guys and the other thing? Party powder battle scope. Let's keep going. I mean, the gargoyle fight was a lot of fun. I was kind of, well, he may have had a second enhance, but we did break him at the last second. I wouldn't have been surprised if he had had a second enhance at the, at like a low HP threshold. I was a little surprised he didn't have like a, like a pseudo, I guess he had that Gale ability, which is unique that he only did in his uh, enhance. But it really was just like a slightly harder hitting version of Squall. Nice. Let's take this chance. Okay, there you are. It's you guys. Did we really? I thought we didn't we kill you guys when we first came in here. You're mine. Yeah. I guess we just got unlucky. Oh, yeah, I kind of forgot that Elliot's sleep would have been really strong there. Good night. Very well. A man just said good night. My apologies. <laughs> got it. I mean, he he wished the fucking monster good night. Yeah. Is there anyone with such absolute fucking energy as the Elster? Now, keep it up. You wouldn't kill Sarah. Got it. Probably. My turn. Right? You wouldn't. You wouldn't kill Sarah. Go wild. Crazy hunt. I got this. Stop being alive. My turn. Stop. Sir. sir. Like I said, you wouldn't kill Sarah. Suppression complete. Good work, everyone. My my Mandrake? Alright, I guess we pause while we get Mandrake. I mean it kinda makes more sense for the quest to be to fight the boss, not kill random mobs until you get RNG, but whatever. Be right back. Alright, we got our Mandrake. So I guess take me back. Granted, we maybe we did. Okay, but it's not doing like a little quest thing, and maybe we did have a uh, the Mandrake already. Oh, can you really just teleport like that via the mini map now? I mean, not right now, obviously, but maybe later. I'm ready to go. That makes sense. I mean, I just feel like that's gonna be like a extremely long list eventually. <laughs> if uh, every late location's there. But all right, yeah, take me back. Yeah, take me back. Wait, can you not even go to floor one anymore? Or does... Okay, so... You, you change it like that, ah. Okay. Now, I don't know if there's any reason to go back to phase two or phase one. Other than just, like, bestiary stuff. So wait, do we already actually have Mandrake? Just out of curiosity? I don't even know how to check that if I'm being completely honest. Ingredients? Oh yeah, we had plenty of Mandrake. Whoops. We haven't seen the map for Aaron Village yet. Oh, wow, I'm really surprised that all the same people are here. I kind of figured with how poppin' the inn is all the time, there would be a whole new host of travelers who had arrived. Maybe we should hand over the Mandrake. 
Here is the mandrake you asked for. Kurt Vander has, has uh, brought it to you. I was going to say requested, but it doesn't really make any sense. Retrieved? Yeah, maybe that's the word Kurt Vander wanted to use. Kurt handed over the mandrake. Kurt Vander handed over the mandrake, you mean. Perfect, this is just what I need. Go and get all the other kids together, that'll be enough for everyone. Voila, my specialty, mandrake soup. This tastes like ass. Shut up! Eat it up before it gets cold. Don't mind if I do. We have like a thousand year old recipe. It's like, oh, this is what they ate back, you know, in the fucking dark ages when they also ate like hardtack. It was a delicacy back then. It's probably it's awful now. Yeah. You know, are you okay? Would I pat on the back help? Wow, this tastes awful. I noticed this soup is, how to put it, bitter, extremely bitter. I thought I was going to choke for a minute there myself. It's certainly a bit different than pumpkin soup, huh? It's an acquired taste, certainly, but I don't mind it after all. I bet Freddy would be a big fan of this. Your room is pretty distinctive, too. I like it. Oh my gosh, she's a freak. If you can get past the bitterness, I guess it's not bad. Yeah, if you can get past the fact that it tastes like ass, I guess it's not so bad. Yeah, you can do a lot worse. Talk about rave reviews, still, as long as you like it, I'm happy. The soup has traditionally been used to help witches recover their mana after especially strenuous activities. Does it give me a free level? To be honest, I'd be over the moon if I could just get Rose to eat some. The last no one in the village can break through to that picky eater. Get it, because she's a small child? That sounds like her, alright. I'm used to it by now. Well, I better get back to my work. You kids go ahead and relax. Thanks again for the meal. Everyone enjoyed the rest of the soup and thanked Lise for her hospitality. Did I get the recipe or something? Now make magic cuisine. It's a legally distinct entity from curious cuisine. Or whatever the hell Freddy stuff was called. Yeah, that's pretty pog. And, best of all, is fucking free, dude. My favorite, free o'clock? Free 99? I already talked to you. Okay, so I guess we'll finish talking to everybody in the village now. Did we go up here? Who was this? Was this Elliot? No, this is Altino. Oh, yeah, this is Altino with, uh... I'm just gonna stare into space with Clam Soleus. She's living the fucking life right there. Yeah, okay, let's hit up the two side houses before we go to the, the main attractions. What's that smell? I'm using a secret technique on this mandrake I'm boiling for a new potion. The odor can be pretty jarring if you're not used to it. It needs to stew for the rest of the evening, but I can already tell it's going to come out great. But that's how it's made, huh? You learn something new every day. Really, taking a dip in the fairy springs enough to heal most minor injuries, so potions like this have fallen out of favor. There's no telling how things will play out from here, though, so I think it's best to be as prepared as humanly possible. Is anyone going to tell her that your spring isn't magic? Apparently, even just like normal showers in the Durflinger have healing properties. It's just the water in Erebonia. That's how the curse spreads. Everyone's like, man, the fucking water here kind of hitting different. That's just uh, the great one entering into your mind, sheeple. Wake up! My husband is going out to gather medicinal herbs. He's going to gather information on what's going on in the outside world by Zaft at it. He should be back by tomorrow. Okay. Bro, why is this shit so expensive? Explain yourself, lady. I have 17 Curio Bombs? What the fuck? I don't remember how much of this is uh, we, stuff we can't touch. I think it's like 400 of it. I mean, eventually I'll trade it in just for the fucking sake of not having to care about it, but for now, 400 to Pith Mass is still like a lot. I don't know, maybe when we get to Act 2, I'll, just, I'll stop pretending that I can't use the uh, save bonus stuff. I mean, I think some of them are pretty significant, like getting the action two and the attack two for free are kind of, especially like right now when you, I mean, I think you can get them via trade-in maybe? 
I guess you wouldn't show them, right? Isn't that at the... Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna use my you materials for that. I don't know what I'm gonna use my you materials for, but probably not that. Because we can make an HP 2 with trade in pretty easily despite not being able to buy them. I didn't manage to finish my studies yesterday and I didn't get to sleep until late. I'm exhausted, but I can't rest. Not now. The sewing is part of a basic training where you learn to focus your magic with each stitch. It's great for concentration. Magic don't give me a spell lesson until I finish. Guess I'll be going to bed late again tonight. Kurt Vander would like to learn a spell. I, mean, I guess technically Kurt Vander can already harness the powers of light and darkness on his swords and blast them out at the speed of light, but... I almost pricked my finger there. Sick of you nincompoop. What a foolish way to train. I think I'll brew some of my special magic wake-up tea later. Let's just say it's potent. It's been a long time since I took on a disciple. Everyone around me is so incompetent. My previous one was singularly talented, but she violated the rules and left. Ooh, I wonder who that could be. She was a fool. I should have disciplined her better. She must be in the Azure Abyss, Vita Clotilde. With Vita's whereabouts unknown, she must be secretly worried about her, in her own way. Bro, I don't care about Vita, if I'm being honest. I mean, I don't, like, hate her. I just, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not into, I don't buy her character, I guess. Honestly, the whole, like, I'm gonna create the perfect situation to summon the Testarossa and then be like, oh no, don't summon the Testarossa, no, I never saw this could happen. <laughs> Like, you just don't come back from that incompetence. I only took Vita from Rose for a while. She has immense talent, but I should have disciplined her better. Okay. So I think that's everything except well we can still go up to the hot springs and then we can start doing these main story stuff What's that ash oh my god how about it starting from today you're my familiar okay time to get to work you're on watch duty so stay Loki you have to listen to me you're unfamiliar remember is she taming him with magic I guess anything's possible in a village of witches but it might be some time before it follows any orders he's pretty cool even got a little collar and everything. Kurt Vander would like one for himself. He's the taming spell and everything. Didn't it work? I'm gonna say it again, so listen real carefully, okay? Stay! Stay! I mean, the fact that he's not kicking you in the face means it must work. Looks like we have a failure to communicate here. It's a little disquieting, but maybe it'll work itself out. What we got here is a failure to communicate? Man, the hospital's gonna get fucking crowded by, crowded by the end of the game. Whole damn squad up in here. Yeah, I think they only display your six, like, main characters, right? I don't know if Yuna was there. I wasn't really paying attention. Hello there, Ash. Something tells me you've been in the hot springs all morning. Eh, yeah, Sumi, didn't I say I have time to get a good soak in last night? So, you gonna stand around all day or what? Take a seat? Well, you're just kind of like you're sitting in the exact middle, and Kurt Vander wasn't really sure where you could sit because it'd be kind of like awkward. He didn't want to sit like literally right next to you, but uh. By the way, about your clothes, is that your pickle the villagers, villagers offered? You like it? I wasn't sure if a coat would be too out of season. I guess it's no better or no different than CS2 when it's the middle of damn winter and half the characters are not wearing pants. One of the characters is barely wearing anything. You will remain nameless, but you know who you are. Summer isn't weirdly chilly this year, you know? Plus the hood might come in handy when I need to be a little covert, you feel me? I do, that's surprisingly practical of you, Ash. Ah, who am I kidding? What really matters how kick ass makes me look. Speaking of which, your current get-up ain't bad or anything, but, uh, you ever think about going punk a few chains, maybe a rip here and there? I can't say that I have. But now that you bring it up, perhaps next time I could have you pick a few things out for me. Anything would be better than what you're normally wearing, Kurt. Like, hell, I ain't signing your personal fashion consultant here. I guess a little man-to-man -man shopping spree doesn't sound so bad once in a while. Be shopping with girls, at least. That shit's mind-numbing. I wouldn't have expected any less of a comment from you. 
I guess that means they're feeling better now? <laughs> Who's asking? And the hot spring here ain't half bad. Who thought a witch's village would be so relaxing? Kurt Vander would. Kurt Vander is not surprised in the slightest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I find the Kurt Vander stuff so funny. I mean, Kurt just seems like he's the type to talk in third person. All right. Hey, this is the guy I was looking for. Is there something I can help you with? So I gave your fans a subtle to once over, and just like I heard from the Elder, man's confirmed that Link with the Ashen Knight's still intact. That means I'll be able to use Divine Knight Orbs in your machine now. That is good news. I didn't think we'd be able to hope for that much. This technology really is something special. Yep, yep, too bad I couldn't get the chance to tinker with the main vessel. Can't fire the ones who first infused the knights with their power. Luckily, we still retained some uh, knowledge at that time. It was our Hexen clan, after all, that developed the EX Orbs later down the line. I see, interesting. If you want to make some more orbs, just come talk to me. You can pick up all the materials you need them for in the labyrinth in the woods. Thank you, we'll do that. And okay. you can make EX orbs. You could also just not do that. Oh my god, you got so much damn options. Man, you really could. I wonder if that's like a new game plus thing. I, n I never really specifically asked, but like I feel like these being available is maybe because we're on a new game plus save. Because it seems a little ridiculous that uh, you could make the super weapons this early. I mean, I would never do it, of course, but... Yeah, so these are pretty easy to make. Oh, what about an action two? You only need two action ones? I mean, that's definitely worth trading in. Yeah, so it seems like your your other stuff have been rebalanced, only require two to trade in instead of three. Actually, it looks like mostly everything only costs two. Well, that's actually good, because honestly, it felt like, I mean, of course, I never grinded much, so I didn't have a whole lot of, uh, like, extra Sapith, but, like, some of like the raw amount it required to make some of the super rares in CS3 were just like, I mean, you'd have to grind so much that, uh, well, I mean, I guess maybe if you use like the Kaleido thing, I don't really exactly know like how much it gives you, but I guess maybe if you had that at like higher levels, it could be really strong for terms of grinding. I just don't, I ain't about that life. I'm not really anti-grinding in, like, general. Like, I mean, in some games I'll grind, but I just feel like these games are more fun the weaker you are. Prevent delay would be pretty strong. And it's fairly cheap. That's kind of cool, giving you passive, uh, status chance. Also, it seems like your EP charges are a lot cheaper. I don't actually know if they're cheaper. And then, oh, you sell Mobius now? Okay, so they added back the wider area ability. Because apparently, I think all the difficulty, or at least the one, I don't know if it was like that in two. Um, but I know. The CS1 and 3 difficulty mods apparently removed that ability from Mobius. The uh, extra AoE on items. Which the extra item AoE, I don't know. Like, I really get why you remove it because it could be potentially so fucking OP. Um, but especially just like how strong, like some of the food items in these games are extremely strong. And so having them affect everyone all at once is uh, kind of crazy. But it did feel pretty weak and like not really worth using at all without the uh, AoE effect. It's still like I just don't know how to fit it in. 
trying to think, do we have any, like, I mean, we could, like, slot it on you just a level, I guess, for in the meantime? Granted, I don't know if you're, you're not actually getting XP in the reserve, are you? I haven't been paying attention in fights. Because that's something I should be better about doing, uh, going forward. Is making sure our support characters are using unique quartz to make sure they're leveled. As long as they're not in situations where, uh... They're not in situations where... We need them. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of like a hard choice. Because it's like, on one hand, I want to kind of give them weaker Master Quartz to maybe level and keep them relevant for longer. But at the same time, if I gimp them with their make it by choosing inoptimal Master Quartz, then, well, they kind of suck when you do have to use them. Or it could, like, you know, cause us to lose, potentially. Oh, hello. What the hell are you doing here? Oh my god, a traveler for, has come to visit the inn? Serby. It's uh, good to see you too. That's how things are. I'll be staying here for a bit, old timer. Fine, fine. It's not touch anything you don't need. A voice sounds familiar. Is that Jingo from Nine Valley Exchange? How did you... No, more importantly, why are you here at the village? Well, the why is because shit's dangerous. I'm more interested in the how, actually. Oh, hey, I've been my top beautiful boy, the Branch Campus customer. Uh, alright, that's a new one. Really? I haven't called you that one before? Anyway, it's no secret. I just came here uh, to this village as part of my training. I met Rose and Heimdall, and it seemed like I'd be able to get my hands on all sorts of underground information if I came here. Third things with Mama, and here I am. I see. Aren't you 11? Yes. I was opposed to bringing in any more outsiders like you kids, especially a little girl like her, but you know, I thought this girl's connections and supply are outside might be of help to you, so she's been allowed to stay. What can I say? Mira talks. At least a prophet I'll go anywhere and take on any job. Once again, aren't you 11? Yes. So I'll be running my exchange here and doing business with the old timer for a while. Go ahead and buy a whole bunch of stuff while you're here. Woof. Uh, sure. There's no predicting her, and she doesn't let anything stand in her way. To be honest, she's putting the rest of us to shame. And you can trade in stuff, you can things find things you missed. I would never miss anything. Listen here, young lady, everything in these shells are strictly off limits. As we're handling these magical artifacts. Geez, geez, I forgot to tell you something. Gonna be using that room on the second floor for a while. Gotta, gotta sleep somewhere, right? What? I already cleared it with Rose. Why, you got a problem with me staying here? Such audacity. And what irritating behavior. This is what young women from the outside are like. My word, just when I think I've seen the worst she can do, she proves me wrong. Yeah, it's not the outside that made Jingo the way she is, but I better not tell him that. It seems like we're already pushing it. I got some good stuff. I think shells are always worth buying. Done already. I got some good stuff. Granted, I don't necessarily know if shells are really strong. I mean, that was like I felt like all the good food items needed shells in CS3. I mean, two, that's probably worth 2,000 HP. Fifty arts. Oh, that's a 12% crit. I think it was like four in the last game. That's crazy. I mean, that's pretty good. Kind of, it's kind of looking. That's really good. We'll probably make that. Okay, so the blue emblem... It used to... Only give like a really small amount of arts, right? No, I mean, 100 is not going to be as good as it has been in previous games. Just because their scaling's a bit higher, but... Yeah, this thing's pretty good. I mean, we won't be able to make it for a long time, but I guess it depends on when we can make it. I mean, it's not like amazing, but 12 speed is a lot better than the 7 the old version gave, considering stuff like Abyss Shatter is still only 20. So proportionally, it's a lot better. I'm going to think of Bad Dark Pendulum. That'd be kind of nice to have. 
Just because we have no source of anti-death lore or vanish right now. Magic evasion. The Omega Mishi. Platinum coin. 35% crit chance and a chance to lower basically all stats. All important stats, except for speed. Pretty good. That's probably worth compared to the old Proverbs. This, I don't even... That's too many damn numbers. I mean, that seems really strong. Yeah, some of these things seem pretty good. Come on, buy... Wanna buy something? Sorry, I'm so... Th oh, water... Oh, man, water bell. Delay reduced to three-fourths after water arts. Can I math? Okay, I mean, that's that's worse, right? Uh... <laughs> I mean, I still think it's probably worth. Even if it isn't quite as strong. Especially because we're not really using the base materials. Like, I don't really care about a soul blur rare. Okay, I kind of want a moon lens just because it's a nice quality of life. But yeah, we'll... we'll... Make us my base operations for now. Be a doll and buy lots of stuff to keep me in business, would you? Hmm, they got all sorts of curious guys I've never seen before. Some look pretty neat. I'll take a closer look. You're really making waves in the fishing world. The Imperial Fishing Club would like to award you a bonus gift. How do you know how many fish I've caught? I guess we could buy the uh, dark hair. Oh, God. I and mean, we'll get it. Because it's cheap. I guess we should buy these as well. Flix, were you the... You're Gun Lady X, right? Just in case we can't get these normally. You gotta upsell me on fucking ingredients, you piece of garbage. Yeah, we're gonna wait until we get to our next area before we even think about buying armor. This will never backfire. I didn't have accessories on you guys. Whoops. I mean, none of our accessories are super strong right now, but... I feel like I have distinctive memories of equipping... Oh yeah, I equipped it on you. I thought I gave you the gladiator headband, but yeah, I gave it to you. I feel like there's an argument for both. They both use CP pretty well. Not, I mean, Ash, I don't know why I was gonna call him knocked. Ash, I think that's because I was looking at this thing. Was it the knocked watch? Ash does have his own way to generate CP, so maybe it actually would be better on Sarah. I mean, they both use CP pretty effectively. Alright, oh yeah, let's look at the hairs just for the sake of curiosity. What was it? It was. You and these are the, I remember that one. The dark hair. I feel like that one's the least jarring of all of them. It really does take his, you know, a marine fanboy a little too high though. I mean the hair doesn't really look that much like green, other than just like color wise, but if anything it's his hair is more like Joshua. I talk to you? I don't remember you being here. I mean, it's a patrol. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you, you came here after we talked to the. You told us about the cryptid. I mean, it's the patrol, Lisa asked me to do. So I think I'll relax a bit. What the hell are you looking at? Is that a fashion magazine? You should also use today to rest properly. Training is fine and all, but it might be bad to try lazing about sometimes, you know? Or it might not be bad. You're eating tea and potato chips. What a. Okay, I gotta respect that. Lazing around, huh? Mm, this chip is so salty, it makes it even more delicious. And these fashion magazines, how very interesting. It seems this is Roselia's way of taking a break. 
The next singularity is in La Mer. The society, including the gnomes, need to be putting a lot of energy into this. Nothing will come out of acting hastily. You should take today as an opportunity to rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the front side say? Oh, it's that Ordis Ordis thing? I think we've seen that already. That seems kind of familiar. And we already deprived Elliot of his card. Unfortunately for him, we have Gun Lady EX now, so it's all fucking over. Is there anything else to do? I mean, I can go to the Eerie Woods. I don't really know if there's any reason. Can I go back to frickin', uh, what you call it? St. Ark? Is that an option? Think they'll let me? Probably not. All right, take me back. We turned in our quest. I think we're good. I can't think of anything else we have. Well, let me look outside one last time. Because we went to the herbalist house. We went to the fortune teller's home. We went to general goods. We went to the hot springs. We went to the clearing. So yeah, all right. I just feel like I, I don't know. I just feel like this was kind of short. I guess because we're not we don't have bond events to do, and there's not that many people to talk to right now. I assume our rest days will get longer once uh we have the main party. I still haven't decided who we're gonna bring. Might have to flip a coin. I mean, I I don't know. I'm split because like. I really do think combat wise, Elliot's pretty strong. And like his his role is unique. In the sense that he's the only source of damage reduction. And that is kind of an issue we're having right now. Um, is things fucking hurt. And then Sarah and Fee, I mean they're very similar characters in a lot of ways. I think I would bring Fee over Sarah. So it's really between Elliot and Fee. We might we might flip a coin. We might let like fucking fate decide it. Oh, uh, actually, there was a thousand year old prophecy that has already predetermined this moment. <laughs> what we say not tomorrow? Should I turn in for the day? No, it is gonna be one of those things where uh, you're gonna have to take my word for flipping the coin. Keep it up, troops. Oh, we missed AP already. What? One or more, ah, uh, okay, we didn't get full AP there. That's okay. That's a little annoying, but I assume you probably get bonus if everyone lives. That's a, that's a little lame, but whatever. Kind of surprised the, uh, that you could get AP for repelling Rutger, but then like still lose to Zeno and Leo, which is kind of funny. <laughs> It is at least good that it's not all or nothing there, that you can get like some AP if you get rid of the other. T I mean, I I would be a very strange situation where you got rid of Rutger, but somehow Zeno and Leo, Leo live. I always want to say Zeo and Leo or Z Zeno and Leno. Hey, Rose, ready to get going. Very well, be careful. This is teleportation zone of La Mer that can bring you back here when you're finished. Go north from the woods and the pendulum should guide you the rest of the way. I have your pants of salt at standing by, so feel free to take them with you. Thank you. Ash, your hometown is in La Mer, right? Oh, that's right. Look how the entertainment city. You wonder how it's doing. Yeah, especially what happened before. I'm a little curious myself. Yeah, it might be fun to see the place again. Don't worry, I got a disguise ready. No one will recognize me. I see. I have my doubts. If you're ready, then should we head for the woods? Yeah, let's get going. One of the members will join you if you choose to go to La Mer. What do you mean if you choose? Be sure to check your equipment and ornaments for... I mean, do I have to steal your stuff? Will it stay equipped on you? That could be a problem. But alright, so there's a second phase of dialogue talking. 
That's why the rest day seems so short. This pendulum will allow you to take the Pandora's soul dots along. It should be of great use. This is the first time I've seen spirit veins like this. We can't predict what will happen. The village will hold a meeting about this. We just understood a little bit more about the Great Twilight. Uh, try. No, we can't use it just yet. Hmm. Things don't go how you'd like. You did find a shrine in Southern. Perhaps there was something there. The next singularity is in La Mer, an expansive area, yes, but that doesn't change the fact that you still need to find it. The situation is worsening by the moment, you need to be careful. I'll do what I can on my end as well, before we end up unable to truly do anything about this. Okay, whatever you say, girly. Because I don't know, I'm trying to think, like, what would our party be, right? Ash, 100% in there. Ash is great. Honestly, it would probably be... Like this, plus Elliot, Fee, or Sarah? Kurt, you're just like... I don't know, the nerf to Blade Dance. I mean, it's pretty small in theory, but it's... You know. I think, I think that, plus the slight nerf to Rain Slash as well... Is, uh, it's kind of hit my boy pretty hard right now. Maybe once we get belts, it won't be as big of a deal, but... I don't know. Your S-Craft is really good, though. You got that going for you? Like a 200% chance to seal and guarantee defense down? Or semi guaranteed defense down? But, like, Elliot, man. He provides stuff that like nobody else does, which is damage reduction and uh, fucking the his ult is still really good even though it's been nerfed. All right, so you know it's the same it was in the CS3 difficulty mod, but whereas really I feel like Fee and Sarah just kind of like do the same thing that Ash or Kurt could do potentially. I mean, Fee's really good. I think Fee is actually kind of crazy right now with the way the change to Concealing Wind. And Zephyrwing is strong. And Light Speed Flash is also really strong, but I don't know. It's hard to say. And then, like, personality-wise, if we take that into consideration, I mean, they're all, what the fuck are you doing? They're all kind of even IMO. I mean, like, I think Sarah and Fee are more interesting than Elliot, but Elliot kind of gets a bonus just because, like, I don't know. It feels different. Look at all those fish. Look at all them apples. Oh, you guys are heading off to La Mer now, right? Safe travels. That's hard for goodbyes. We're getting me the heck out of this mess. The kid down here is looking like a scarecrow. What's on the agenda today? Growth magic works on plants, animals, you name it. Mom told me it just yesterday. It was amazing. You know, here for you, I feel like being roped in. Oh, Brielle, we've been over this a thousand times. My chance of success is to go through the roof with you around. Now keep those arms up. It's going to be kind of tough to aim otherwise. Are you freaking kidding me? This is a little worrisome, but I guess it's okay as long as they don't get out of hand. They seem rather tight-knit as far as siblings go. We're going to come back and Aubrey is going to be fucking dead. <laughs> The three most important things for an aspiring witch are training, training, and training. Every day is crucial. You can't let up even once. Yeah, so I want nothing to do with it. Oh, why can't Nina just leave me alone? You see why I hate this stupid village now? Man, I feel you, kid. I feel you. They don't even teach you magic because of your gender? That sucks. Hello. Hey, look at this. Guess this little guy must be on hot spring duty today. Been a full me and screwing around since yesterday. Did you help me out with any of the chores? I sure as hell didn't. He is supposedly a familiar, but not quite in the same way Selene is, it seems. Doesn't think he's capable of human speech for one. That aside, he seems rather sluggish somehow. Her. Oh, I get it. You're hungry, aren't you? Isn't it time for? It isn't time for breakfast quite yet, unfortunately. Uh, the time for breakfast is as soon as you wake up. It's in the name. I mean, I don't know, it's pretty seen. Seems like we've, we've banned. I guess it is just your main party. A good break. I mean, it would be kind of a little weird when you've got, you know, 20 characters or whatever, potentially. 
or at least, you know, just all of class seven. No, it's just you guys. What do you want? Stop by to get in ready before we leave. Are you helping organize the shelves? The geezer here took care of me, so I'm just helping him out a bit. Hmm, something about this face feels really shady. Servers, so, give it a whiff. Ruff. Didn't summon any magic, huh? Okay, that goes on the right shelf. Is is that something that can be smelled? There's only covered by any of the five senses I got. You know, these two really are something else. Woof, 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 woof. Isn't a guy like so damn pleased with himself? Can't believe we're losing to a dog. <laughs> Uh, same the best way to display one's wares. So that's me I put the high level magic gizmos over here with like a colorful sign to attract attention. I don't think it's something to go to the bargain bin. Gotta liquidate old stock somehow. Cult items don't make much of an impression on her apparently. She's treated them like any other product. That poor shopkeeper is the one who's gonna suffer from culture shock after this encounter. Wanna buy something? So what I wanna make, I wanna make a silver charm. Silver charm. An 18% crit rate prevent. I mean, blind is like not. I mean, it's annoying, but it's not that prevalent usually. Honestly, I'll make this. I'll go ahead and make this right now. Petrifies one of those things that, like, if it exists, you have to. Uh, Equip something against it usually. That seems really strong. The blue emblem, I mean, a hundred arts is also pretty strong. And I think the silver charm is worth it. Come on, buy some more. <laughs> hey, I'm so sorry. I got some good stuff. All my U materials gone. 50 arts and prevent burn. I don't care about preventing burn. Done already. Even McBurn's fights, I'm like, I don't think anti-burn is worth it. <laughs> I don't know. We'll think about how to equip stuff later when we decide on who we're bringing. That Jingo girl from indulging in morning baths or training that pup, she really is just doing whatever she pleases. So much for a quiet life of research and contemplation. For the record, I did deliver a comprehensive list of complaints to roses of that night, but she was holding snacks to the outside world in one hand and brushing me off with the other. She even said to me, what's so bad about her? Uh, what's the chance of me kicking her out or slim? I even tried to nail them to the wall and she just ignored me still. The door? I mean, you get the reference. Our new agenda for today seems to be messing around with my inventory in the shelves without my permission. My ward. I told her over and over again not to touch them because it's dangerous, but does she listen? And with Rose the way she is right now, I'm so on edge. Say anything new? Okay. Alright. Let's fucking do it. Between Elliot and Fee, let's flip a coin. Do I have a coin? No. We will use the internet, and you'll just have to take my word that the answer is correct. Okay, uh, heads, Elliot, tails, fee. It's heads, Elliot. Uh, you're you're going to have to take my word for it. You're going to have to take my damn word for it. It's heads, Elliot. Now, I probably should have declared it before it started flipping, but... Before I googled coin flip? Oh, God. <laughs> Guys, that, that's so weird. If you're, using, if you're, like, holding it with a controller, and then also, uh... Hold, use your mouse, the game becomes omega tier framey. That's kind of weird. But now, now I need to bring OBS back up. Because I pulled it up on my second monitor. There we go. Alright. We can finish talking to everybody around here, I think. Before we go ahead and call it. Not that many people to talk to. My familiar Loki is so cute and fluffy, and he squeaks and you pat him on the head so adorable. I just want to pet him all day long, but he needs discipline too. He used to be a monster after all. My job today is to use these herbs to strengthen the taming spell on him. Think we'll be able to talk by the end of the game? 
I'll show everyone just how good a boy Loki can be. That way everyone will be nice to him. I mean, he's already less annoying than Selene, so he's got that going for him. Remember back when Selene used to only meow? Good fucking times, man. There you are. Here, I, mean, I don't dislike Selene that I mean, she's just a little annoying at times. Here, take this. Oh, wow, Pog. You all come back in one piece here. Is this the potion you were brewing last night? You made more? That's so nice of you. Definitely remember to chug this sucker. I'm happy to do your service. The people here in Aaron really know how to take care of their guests. Yes, some of the best hospitality I've ever seen. It does seem like there are a lot more free with spirit instances in this game. That's probably why the hard cap is established. Because I mean, if we hadn't used one in the in the Blore fight, we would have five already. Nice today, Rose is holding her big meeting. I need to get myself together before I head out. Take care, all you all. We'll be rooting for you. Thank you. We'll be going now. And let's head to the fortune teller's house. So we'll be bringing Elliot. That means that we can loot Fee and Sarah for good stuff. you I want their heal I'll take your actions I guess just to trade them in for action twos I kind of forgot I wanted to do that why do you have a move gross at least it gives you one speed <laughs> one whole fucking speed I mean movement isn't always bad there are some situations where movement's good it's just not really something I'd ever want like just Constantly equipped on a character. I read the flow of cause, at least not just by itself. I read the flow of cause and effect, but now I'm blocked by a torrent of waves. I can see a few key events, but more is still hidden from view. It hurts. I should have expected as much of the spirit veins in disorder. It's fine. Just a little pain in my joints. One of the keys that can unlock this riddle is without a doubt your instructor. You'll do your best to find the singularity that would lead you to him, you hear me? That magic wake-up tea master made for me last night was really effective. Hold on, all-nighter and I'm still raring to go. I'm going to finish my destiny theory studies today. Turns out fate isn't just something that happens in the world. It involves the movement of the heavens as well. Fascinating. But what the fuck are the heavens? Yeah, I think about it. Master's been doing divination for a long time this morning. I wonder if you learned something really concerning and that's why. I don't know. Remember when Luciola was a thing? I mean, she had some cameos, but... uh. I guess the one cameo in Azure. Wait, was she in Zero as well? Or is she just in Azure? She's just in Azure, right? Oh yeah, I need to go to the end. I was like, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, I guess now, now that half the population is in our party again, there's much less people to talk to. Hey, you guys are setting out, huh? Oh, Eucalyptus, I didn't realize you were back. Yep, just rolled in this morning. I heard you checked out the situation in the East for us. I honestly never thought things would get this bad. I'm decision with the spirit veins. The Great Twilight's influence is beginning to spread disaster as well. Even Rose is taking this seriously for once. As she should, it seems like everything is going topsy-turvy. Even the sun's veto pulled during the Civil War pale in comparison. You can plan our next move carefully. Anyway, be careful out there. Disaster could strike at any time. Thank you. We'll definitely keep that in mind. Next stop, La Mer. Don't be able to track down the gnomes. It's like they disappeared on the face of the world. You know they've been hard at work, though. Once Emma and the others get back, we'll probably ought to compare what we've each found out. We'll be counting on you to find out everything we can, too. Rose has decided to try and work with the Septian Church. I guess there's only so much we can do on our own. We've had our differences with the church in the past, but we've been at peace for the last two centuries. I suppose we'll check exactly what the plans are during the meeting today. Rose seems to have something to mind with all this, so maybe I should inquire as to what that is in the meeting today. The church actually doing something? That seems uh, unlikely. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're feeling well rested. You managed to get last night's drinks out of your system, Sarah? Oh, definitely not a trace left. Cocktails are damn good. You can better be back for more. Were you at it again last night, Instructor Sarah? Did you take a break from breaking at all yesterday? Oh, well, glad you enjoyed your stay. Seven outside of the protection of the village is dangerous, but it could be the only way to find your missing friends. 
The rest is up to you and the whims of fate. I'll be praying for your success. I mean, we're only missing one friend. Right, well, once the cleaning is done, I'd better go look at Onita and Albrio. I can hear them messing around outside. Sounds like you're just full of energy today as always. And no, I'm not forgetting anyone. We're only missing one friend. So just, uh, is that everything actually? We didn't go to the Orville store, I don't think. Strange girl came in the other day and started praising all the stuff I got here. What does a kid like that know about anything? Wait, she's a weapon salesman? That age? Wow, life is full of surprises. Yeah, she can go for you. Sounds like she made quite an impression on you. Old Aeroy seems to be at a loss as to what to do with her, but she's definitely got an eye for top-notch goods. She's got Moxie, and that ought to count for something. I think I'm going to look forward to doing business with her. Heading out to La Mare and Heimdall, huh? But what? We're going to Heimdall since when? Y'all take care now. Hard, I mean, I guess maybe the other two are going to Heimdall? Hard knows what the barrier around the village, but the Great Twilight's influence is growing a lot stronger. Right, right. It's how bad is it out there? I guess I gotta see for myself. Oh, there's critical orbs now, and EP orbs? Interesting. Those that not exist in the past. I mean, it's kind of good. Oh, it gives you a defense down chance as well. Plus 50,000? That's like a pretty massive increase. You definitely want to make one of those. At least a. a well, do I have to make one, right? Because they apply to everyone? Yeah. Well, we should... Most deaf. Make one of those. And then I want to make an action. An action. And, uh, we can make an attack three already? What the fuck? Yeah, it seems like a little... You can make some stuff really early that's quite strong. What do I want to do? Oh, yeah, yeah, make this orb. Yeah, I mean, that's like a massive increase on in our overall HP. The only thing... We bought Mobius, right? I did. Alright, cool. Cool, cool. Pretty cool. Alrighty, so we'll go ahead and call it here, and next time we will head to La Mer. See what's uh, going on over there, and hope we don't get Muse back. I'm Extra Cheese 87 stay tuned for the next part, and bye guys.